The Space Shuttle Endeavor is now in place and will be the first ready to launch display in the world. This is so awesome. KKL News reporter Rick Montanez has been watching the work for several weeks. He's live at the California Science Center in Exposition Park. Rick. Hey, good morning. You know, they're calling this Go for Stack, and everybody involved in this part of the project, this has been such a big day for them. And check it out, they are still, they still have some things to do, but the crew, the work crew that's been here all night, they're finally getting a break. But what they have to finish here is getting all of the finishing touches. The bolts have to be torqued into place to secure the shuttle before that massive yellow crane can be disconnected. But what you see here is the shuttle, the tank, the boosters, it is all getting into place. We have some video of Endeavor being hoisted up and over the external wall here that is under construction and then meticulously placing the shuttle into its vertical position. Workers mounted the retired orbital atop its external tank in a move that's never been done before. Also part of the display are the only surviving rocket boosters from the shuttle program. And we showed you these as they arrived here at the California Science Center and then went into place in the vertical display. The whole exhibit will stand 20 stories tall when completed. The shuttle Endeavour came to Los Angeles in 2012 atop a Boeing 747, you'll remember. And you will get to see the shuttle from all angles when it's complete. This will be here now basically forever. Um, this is permanent home. Building will be built around it. And then people are going to have this chance to see Endeavour and the whole space shuttle stack in multiple ways. It's uh, really exciting. You'll be able to see it below it, above it, um, look All around the whole thing everywhere and, and learn more about space travel and the challenges and, and our successes in doing it. Unparalleled access you will have here once everything is all set up and the Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center opens. There is no exact date yet because they want to get a little further in the construction before they can give us that. But the other cool thing about this, Jamie and Ruta Bay, is that it will all be free for people to come in and see. So everyone will have access to this incredible display, the incredible education that people will get here about the history of space travel. It is pretty exciting. Back to you. Yeah, when you make it free, it makes it accessible to everybody, which yeah. is amazing. Rick, thank you so much.